back to NBA Today. It's Arena Zhang. And it's your girl, Izzy Haynes. Hey, Izzy, I kind of miss school over the break. I don't know, Verena. That one week break is exactly what I needed. Well, now you're back to school. I have a question for you. How do you see Monverde? Through tears of happiness. I'm sure different people have different Monverde experiences, especially people who have been here forever. Let's take a look at how things have changed over the years with Aaron, Morgan, and Kale. Hey guys, it's Mo and the Go back again. And it's your girl, Aaron Laps. And I'm Kale Cornchip. Anyways, so I heard this week we were talking about the Monverde Academy experience. Yeah, haven't you guys been here for like a decade? Longer than that, believe it or not. I've been at MVA for 14 years. I've been here for 13. We've basically grown up here. That's crazy. This is only my first year. So much has changed over the years. Like what? Do you remember Way to Go Wednesday? Or the sixth grade retreat at Camp Weewa? What are you guys talking about? Well, Way to Go Wednesday was a ceremony that the entire lower school held at the end of every month. We would all make our way to the chapel, which is now the middle school math building, and we would get individually recognized for our honor roll and citizenship. I loved it because it got me out of math class. Wow, sounds exciting. Man, those were some good times. Do you remember at Camp Weewa when we were put in groups and did all those adventurous activities? We played a big game of Capture the Flag, had our first real dance, and pulled tons of pranks. Oh yeah, that was so long ago. At my old school, we went to the Science Center in Orlando every year. Anyways. And who could forget the 8th grade Washington, D.C. trip, which they still have today. Oh yes, I bet you remember that trip very well. Why are you guys being so sus? That's a story for another day. Morgan, do you remember those awesome learning cottages? You mean the portable sophomore year? Of course I remember. Oh yeah, totally remember that. No, Kalia, just no. But anyways, I think that's enough for this flashback session. I agree. Back to you guys on the main desk. That was really interesting. Hey, Verena, aren't you from China? Yeah, I'm an international student. Tell me what that's like. Well, it's definitely a Monver experience. I was expecting the schools to start around 10 before I came to America, and I can say really late. When I first came to America, I thought the only sport you can play in high school is American football. Let's go to Maide, Omar, and Alan to get a closer look at the international perspectives. Hey guys, it's your girl Maite, and today we're going to interview some international students and their experience here at Monver Academy. So today we're going to interview Crystal. So Crystal, where are you from? I'm from Ecuador. And why did you come here to Montverde? To have a better education. How long have you been here? Like for two months. Tell me something that you like the most of the school. Uh, the student center cookies. Cool, thanks. So we're here with Daniel and please tell us, where are you from? I'm from Dominican Republic. Why did you come here? Um, I came here to play baseball like my brother did. How long have you been here? Um, this is my first year at Mount Verde. So we're here with Mateo and tell me where are you from? From Puerto Rico. Why did you come here? To play baseball and study. How long have you been here? I don't know. Long time. <laughs> tell me something that you like. Sleeping on weekends. Cool. Wow, that is a great perspective. Thanks guys. You know whose perspective I really want to know? I want to know what happens when you graduate from Montverde and come back to work here. I bet Camilo and Ezra have something to say about this. I think I was a pretty good student. Um, you know, I like the academy. I learned a lot of things here. Uh, so, you know, I got, I got in some trouble, especially my first year, but I, overall I was a pretty good student. Have rules changed over time? Um, some of them have. Um, we have added some other rules, of course, uh, because some students decided to do some things and then we had to, I guess, you know, add those rules to hopefully not have that happen again. So yes, uh, some of them have changed. But did you get any hours? Yes, I did. I did. I got hours both my junior and senior year. I got a lot of more hours my, uh, a, lot, a lot more hours my, um, junior year than my senior year. Um, uh, it, was, it was a learning curve for me, especially at the beginning. Uh, but I think after my senior year, I kind of you know, learned and, and got it. So I, I received only a few uh, my senior year, so I did better. So you can relate to the students when they get hours and they make some mistakes? 
Yes, I, I definitely do. Um, and especially to those that are boarding students as well because I lived in the dorms. So I know how it is, so I definitely relate to you guys. What was your motivation to come back? I never thought that I was actually going to come back to Monver Academy after I graduated. It never crossed my mind. Um, but I think that, you know, that now that I'm back and I'm working here, the one thing that I will say is uh, just being around teenagers. I think that, you know, being around you guys uh, is what, I guess, keeps me going in a way. I really love what I do. So uh, I will say that it's probably that. Wow. It's hard to picture Mr. Matos as a high school student. Speaking of high school students, let's go to Steph because she's back on the street. Hey guys, it's Steph, and I'm hiding on the street. What's your favorite memory from Montverde? I'm um, staying in the dorm and watch movies with my friends. What's your favorite memory from Montverde? Um, the glitter incident in fifth grade. Mr. Urquhart, what's your favorite memory from Montverde? I've been here 11 years, so there's been just a lot of really great things that have happened. But if I had to pick one, I think it would be my daughter graduating from Montverde and then coming back to teach here in the lower school. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Catch up. What's your favorite memory from Montverde? Uh, well, one day it was a rainy day, and uh, it was like soaking wet on the floor, and we decided to like run and do like a little slip and slide like into the dorm on Arnold Hall. So it's probably my favorite. Vlada, what's your favorite Montverde memory? Wearing the long skirt when, on Wednesday assembly. Precious was popping. Was popping. What's your favorite Montverde memory? Uh, actually, detention. Detention? Yeah. Of course. Mila, what's your favorite Montverde memory? Uh, probably the bus trips with our team to the games. Drippy Ken, what's your favorite Montverde memory? Meeting all these wonderful people. Sensational stuff. Now let's go to sports with Maria and Fito. Thank you, Isi and Marina. It's Maria. I'm Fito with sports. We've had a lot of success and a lot of more to come. So I want to start out by wishing all of our Montverde athletes the best this coming December. On December 1st, our boys soccer team will be playing against Real. Live Christian. Good luck. The boys varsity and junior soccer teams have had an amazing season so far, continuing their undefeated reign. Buen trabajo, la familia. Also, the girls' varsity soccer team is continuing undefeated. Good job. The boys' varsity basketball team recently played four games and won all of them, defeating Osceola High School, Bellbrook High School, Tift County High School, and Shiloh High School. Also, the girls' varsity basketball played two games and won one and lost one. And we'll be playing another game today. Keep it up, guys. On December 2nd and 3rd, our boys' prep basketball will be playing a tournament away. We shoot the best, guys. On December 3rd, the Equestrian team is going to a jumping and dressage competition at Rocking Horse. Good luck. Check NBASports.com for all the latest scores. That's it for sports. Back to you, Isen Marina. Thanks, guys. Now it's time for desk mentions. There will be a jeans day on Friday for two bucks. Ritters will also be on campus this Friday, December 2nd. Also, the Upper School Christmas dance is December 2nd, 7 and 9.30 p.m. This will be a casual dance, so that means you will be allowed to wear your jeans. There's an SAT on December 3rd from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. This exam is mandatory for juniors. Also, there is a TOEFL test December 3rd from 8.15 a.m. to 1 p.m. Finally, Lessons and Carols is this Saturday with performances at 5 p.m. and 8 p.m. at the Claremont Performing Arts Center. And Senior Jeans Day is Tuesday, December 6th. That wraps it up for this week's show. For myself and everyone here at the TV Studio Broadcasting Class in the Stevens Media Arts Building, I'm Verena Zhang. And I'm Izzy Haynes. See you later, Eagles. Eagles.